Let me see if maybe this hangs on to this now. Please, can you just work for me, please? Thank you. I'm asking. All right. I'd like it to stay there so that we can um, see the cards as well because it's nice to see the cards. Okay, let's see if it works. If not, I'll put it back here. All right, Libra. Let's get back to your reading. Libra and then Gemini is next, okay? All right, so Libras. We got intimacy and we got meet, we meet again. So for the card of intimacy, we got um, somebody who's obviously wanting to be more intimate, right? So you're seeking deeper connections in your relationships. Allow yourself to release the past so that you can accept these deeper connections, okay? We meet again. We got the card for we meet again here, okay? And this is um, meaning somebody's going to come back. And I already knew that that was going to happen for you guys. So let's let's see why is someone coming back? What are they coming back for? Okay, number 12, someone from your past has or is about to resurface into your life. Take notice. There are lessons to be learned from this person, okay? So, so we got 100%. Listen, Mercury Retrograde is going to bring back a lot of people from the past, you guys. Um, we have people, I haven't done Aries yet, Aries, Leo, and Sag, I gotta do them too. Um, we got people from the past coming in, sneaking back in, but let me tell you something, there was somebody here who's a Libra who was dealing with the uh, Virgo or someone um, from their past, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it seems like you guys rushed back. This relationship went in and out, like this was on and off, on and off, okay? That's the kind of relationship I'm getting here. Someone felt like they were highly, like this was injustice at its finest somebody felt like this was the justice was not served in this relationship okay and this led you to not see things very clearly okay um the two of swords and hold on guys hold on let me just start. my bad my bezel that magnet is motherfucking not sticking and it's pissing me off yo i fucking i knew i shouldn't have bought that shit Such a bitch yo fucking waste my money on shit today's today's Titties, titties, titties. Okay. All right. Big titties, big titties. Everybody, big titties, big titties. Okay. So, yeah, you know, I can't just do card readings. I have to be retarded in the middle of it. Okay. See, my stomach looks big right now. But it's not. Okay. Anyway. All right. Actually, it is. It's kind of chubby. All right. So, um, Libra. If you were dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces who is very standoffish towards you, this is the person I know I'm retarded. This is a person who is standoffish towards you and very indecisive. You're so dealing with an indecisive person. This could be you indecisive about something. Some of you are looking for places to invest your time and energy. This could be in money and legal finances. This could be in love, in relationships like this. Um, you seem to be very indecisive at this moment and you seem to be standoffish when it comes to love. <clears throat> this is a person who is refusing to open up their heart and very indecisive. Um, I would say restless energy I'm getting. A very restless energy. That's the pro that's the thing that I'm seeing here. This is a energy of like, I don't know if I should be in a relationship anymore. I don't know if I should, you know what? I'm just tired. There we go, look at that. That shit just flew out. It's like you're trying to, <clears throat> you're trying to figure out like what's best for you. You're weighing out your options. It's like you really don't know. Somebody is very, very confused right now. It's not confusion. I would say it's more of a sense of like you figure something out. You want intimacy. You're seeking deeper connections and you are going to look for it right now. Okay. And it's like you got we meet again. Now, somebody keeps coming in and out of your life, whether they did already or they're going to. Someone keeps coming in and out of your life. And this is a very annoying type of energy because this feels like a person who seems to come in and out of your life. And when they come in and out of your life. It's like they wait for you to be at your very best and then they come in and they try to take that away from you, right? So what you need to do is stop that energy immediately, okay? When you have these issues, right? There's a Leo here that somebody's dealing with, definitely a Leo, but that also represents Aries and Sag. There's a Leo that somebody's dealing with here. They could be seeing other people. This could be a person who's trying to balance more than one person at once. They're trying to live two lives and you notice that and you found out and you're like, nah, fuck that, right? And then we have somebody who's dealing with an Aquarius here as well. But this is also the star card. This is a star card. That means that you see this person as everything, but it seems like they have their back turns towards you and you keep pouring all of your emotions into this person and you get left like this. This is how you get left. Okay? 
So, okay, Libra, so you need to cut this person out, cut this thing out that's bothering you because it feels like they're just bringing you bad luck here. And they keep you worried at night a lot. It's like you back and forth with it. There needs to be an ending to this, a transformation, a brand new beginning. With this person coming in and out of your life, it's going to stop you from moving forward. You're not going to know what to do if you do not let this go. Gemini is next. And now what do we have after this? What do we have left over? Aries, Leo, Sag, right? And Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Okay. So Gemini, and then we'll do Aries, right? <clears throat> we'll do Cancer next. Okay. We'll do Cancer after this. All right. So we got Gemini now, and then Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then Aries, Leo, Sag. These are all for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow. Wow. Oh, Gemini. Hello. Hi. Hello, soulmate. Spiritual connection. Look at this. <clears throat> wow. Whoa, okay. Gemini. <sighs> number 17, number 8. Okay. 7 plus 1 is 8. And then the number 8. Gemini. You are open to receiving spiritual guidance. You may receive this from the reappearance of past life acquaintances or from light beings. You may feel strong connections to family members or friends at this time or complete strangers. You have a deep connection with someone in your life. Passions, emotions, and excitement exist, Gemini, and you are in the process of learning right now. I'm going to give the cards one shuffle and I'm going to pull some cards for you, Gemini. <clears throat> Spirit of love and light, thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. We value your messages. We value you your time and we <clears throat> genuinely love you and appreciate you thank you for protecting me and our view my viewers <clears throat> thank you for the gift of knowing thank you for my intuition thank you for my insight thank you for the messages i strongly love you and i thank you okay guys all right um, anybody want to book a private reading? I do um, prior readings pre-recorded. I also do FaceTimes. I also do in-person readings. I also do events, group events. And I also do a Zoom thing where I let like seven people come on for a cheaper price. So when you see that come up and you can't afford the regular readings because I'm not, I'm not about to be mad cheap in my readings because I'm nice with it and I take my sweet ass time and I really give you messages. I don't play around. I'm not these other readers. And I think there's some good readers out there. But anyway, so I love everyone. And I just want everyone to, to heal from my readings, okay? <clears throat> Use my spirit guides to help heal you. All right, Gemini. Wow. Gemini, what is going on here? I'm telling you, you cannot make this shit up. Yeah, I will post them here. Um, I will also post them on YouTube. Um, okay. Okay. This is the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Virgo energy, but this is just two people. One is very spiritual and one is very abundant. Spiritual leader. Look at that, how the people are looking up to him. Like, um, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. And she's sitting there feeling good, not worried about nothing. <clears throat> Gemini, you have something very beautiful coming your way. This is a soulmate connection. This is a spiritual connection. This is... This is something that is going to take away the pain, take away the heartache. Oh, wow. There, there is, whoa. Okay, Gemini, this has turned into a whole nother reading for you. You got a spiritual connection coming in. This is a soulmate, and this is divinely guided. When I say divinely guided, that means the spirit guides, the realms, have gotten together and decided that this person and you would be perfect for each other even before you were born. This is a soulmate connection. You know, arranged marriages, it's like that, but in the spirit world. They believe that you and this person will be the perfect, perfect couple for each other, and they are bringing it to you. This could be a Leo, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> not to resist this connection, to open your heart to it, to be aware that it is coming and to know that the spirit, the universe, love, your guides are bringing you finally that love that you've always been wanting. Gemini, you have been through it. Yes, you have. You have been through it. And if you're in a relationship right now, I'm being told to tell you that this person is someone that even though you guys argue and go through a lot, it's a, it's a spiritual connection. You might feel the need to be standoffish right now. You didn't miss anything. Everything is um, going to be posted on my YouTube channel and on this. So please, you guys, if you can, you know, go to the YouTube and watch it. But I'll also post it on Instagram because I'm a nice person <laughs> and Facebook. All right. Wow. Okay. Can I just tell you, Gemini, listen to this. Okay. So there, there's one of you guys right now. 
on you guys right now that um is highly having a you're kind of like sitting there with your like if you look if you look now how i view this and how i feel it how i sense it is look this person is got the rod in their hand they're ready to go right they're ready to take action right so now but this person you, you see they're very standoffish they're not trying to accept love right now maybe they went through something and they're not trying to accept love right now but you need to understand something this is a spiritual connection, a divine, the number 33. Again, are you kidding me? The number 33, this person who's coming towards you is going to be very loyal, very loving, very, very noble, very noble. You have to give this person a chance, okay? You have to give this person a chance. There's, There might be somebody who's in a relationship right now and and they're thinking, is, is they, are they, if, if you don't listen, if you don't feel like this person is it, then that's not it. If this person is either a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo, they are right now looking at you and they're going, I'm going to get that person. They're going to be mine. And I'm telling you, Aaliyah, oh my God, are you joking me? Holy shit. Listen, I have strong Gemini in my chart. Let me show you something. Gemini, do you see that? That is happiness. That's a Leo. Represents a Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is happiness. This is a gift from spirit coming in to give you what you've always asked for. If you are in a situation right now and you know that situation isn't right, run. Run, head for the hills. Run away, run away and save your life. Run away. Go, go, and find your true love. Find your soulmate. Find the person you're supposed to be with. Why are you wasting your time with this person? Why? Don't. Go, move on, move forward. Let life, man. Stop, stop trying to live for everybody else. It's not, listen, you're not, they're not your responsibility. You're not here to make people feel better about their life, okay? There's no need for you to sit in misery and not be happy when you know that you should be happy, right? Okay, so, you know, there's karma, okay? Karma comes and goes, man, and it's up to you how you hold on to it, okay? Now, we're going to move on to the water signs. Let's go to Cancer. Let's go to Cancer. And then we still got Aries, Leo, and Sag, right? And then Cancer, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's get to the Cancers, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Everyone else is getting gets loud. Oh, Miss Jess. And that's, let me tell you something, Miss Jess. Let me tell you how that's so important right now. A Leo talking to a Leo. What, 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 what? That's like two arrogant sons of bitches being in a room. No, it's going to, yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot, okay, baby? I'm on Cancer now, and then we'll do Scorpio and then Pisces, okay? And then we'll do um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, okay? All right, here we go. <sighs> we are focusing on Cancer, Spirit of Love and Light. Please give me messages for Cancer. Anyone spirit guides who are in the room right now and you feel they need to hear a message, please come on to me and give me that message. I will gladly, gladly give it to them. Thank you. As long as you are full of love and light, you protect us and my people. We good. We good. We good. You heard? You welcome as long as you full of love and light. If you some crazy motherfucker, get out of my sight. I send you off into the love and the light. Okay. All right, Cancer. <coughs> cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What did you mean that for Aquarius and Pisces? What do you mean? What did I mean? What do I mean? For, what do I think about Aquarius and Pisces? Two, two people who don't express emotions too well. So Aquarius are very, very, um, don't like to be too emotional. And a Pisces is the same way. They're very logical thinkers. So they would be, it would be hard to, um, to get feelings out of either one of them. So that's, that's tough. When you got two people who can't express their emotions, you, it's very hard to get that. Okay, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Guys, I'm just going to tell you right now. Be aware. Be very, very, very aware, Cancers. 
anyone in here who's watching and is thinking about this, let me tell you something. Be aware because I keep getting this card. I always say Mercury is in retrograde. I'm going to tell you right now. A lot of people are coming back from the past. This is a situation where you're going to have to I know, I know, I feel it, I know. I feel dreadful right now, and that means that's not good. So if there's someone coming back from your past cancer and you know this person is a piece of shit, I'm a Virgo um, sun, I'm Aries rising though, and so they always say check your, check your rising signs as well as your moon because, and then you're dealing with love, you check your Venus. Like I'm a Leo in Venus, I'm, a, I'm an Aquarius in moon, I'm a... Virgo sun and I'm a um, Aries rising and now they say to um, when you're in your power and you're doing what you need to do and you're working or you're doing like the things that make you feel great and amazing you check your rising sign when you're in your emotions and your head and your feelings you check your um, moon sign when you're in the love aspect you check Venus because Venus is for love and then when you're feeling like just like your regular old self you check your sun sign okay all right so there could be a Cancer, there could be a Pisces that might come back in or a Taurus that might come back into your into your world. Into your world. They're gonna turn your world upside down. They're gonna say they wanna be committed to you. I'm seeing into the future now. I'm sorry, but guys, for the for the cancers, I'm looking into your future, I feel like. They're telling me that this is going to happen and to look for these signs because they're going to happen okay <sighs> this could be somebody that was cheating on you in the past or this could be someone that left you alone and single okay there is um somebody definitely coming back here they're gonna turn your world upside down you're gonna feel a lot of emotions when this happens um some of you might feel like it's time to celebrate some of you might think that this is the perfect thing that happened and you might be happy that this is going to happen. Check your birth chart. All you got to do is go to, um, um, I think it's numerology, numerology.com and you can check your birth chart. You put in your, your date of birth and if you have your time too, it's even better. And I could teach you guys how to, um, how to know your life path number. It's very simple. It seems not complicated, but it's very simple and, and I'm not good at math, so okay. Some of you are holding on to a Aries, Leo, or Sag. There is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here that is holding on to you. They can't seem to let you go. They can't seem to stop thinking about you. This person has tried numerous times to come back into your life. And every time they do, they say they changed, but they didn't. This keeps you indecisive, feeling worried and confused. You're, 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 you're not able to think clearly because of this. This person comes back with information, with news. They act like they're telling the truth. They tell you they're telling the truth, but they're really not. And they keep you, leaving you, they keep leaving you feeling sad and down, okay? When you're by yourself and you're good on your own, you seem to have everything going right for you. You work on yourself, you're doing okay. You're getting your emotions in check, but I'm going to tell you right now, this person seems to be a very toxic individual. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, but I do feel like you're in your emotions. Some of you about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you about a Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn who's very toxic, or you could just be dealing with a toxic person. This person is trying to juggle two lives at once, and you know it. They seem to have options, and they take and they weigh their options out. And it seems like you need to walk away from this individual. They give you a lot of burdens. Carry on, move forward, start fresh, and begin a new life with cancer. I don't know what's going on, but there's somebody who's dealing with a relationship here that they keep coming in and out of your life. When they come in, they come out, they cause you a lot of pain, a lot of strife, a lot of grief. For some of you, when they come back in, you think it's time to celebrate. You think it's happy times. Yay, I get to celebrate. Oh my God, they came back. They love me. They're going to do the same thing they did before. So back the fuck up, okay? Scorpio, Scorpio, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Can I get a Scorpio, please? Scorpio energy. Excuse me. 
All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get a Scorpio message here. What do we have for my Scorpios, please? Spirit guides, loved ones, measles. And I know I'm feeling so energetic right now, and I just did all the signs, and I'm going through them, and I did a lot of talking, but my energy level is beautiful. Why? Because I took the past two days to meditate and take time for myself. Okay, let's get the Scorpios, please. Spirit guides, loved ones, angels, thank you. And for anyone out there, you are protected, you are loved, you don't need to worry, okay? If you're feeling like you're, you're feeling like you have bad energy around you, you feel negativity around you, you need to relax. I love you too, bad guys. Ah, uh, Jay, you're cute. I will never get old, though. <laughs> never. I don't get old. I get younger every day. They ain't a wrinkle on my face, boo. <laughs> I'm a happy person. Happy people don't get wrinkles. Happy people don't get old, okay? <laughs> Only stressed out, miserable, depressed people. I hate when my hair is tight like this. It hurts my head. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. My head hurts. Okay. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Thank you. It's burning. Thank you. Okay. My, head, my head, hair is hurting, so I got to put it down. It's killing me. Ow. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm, being the Virgo, we can't see any. No, my hair looks horrible down, but it's all right. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <sighs> loving light angels, please protect me and my viewers. Please give us the loving light, white, white light around us. Give us positive energy and good life. Good lives, every one of us, please. I ask that you bless us all with good lives. And I'm going to tell you right now, I've been doing some prayers for people and their life is changing. I love that because, you know, you, you, you don't think you have the, the you, don't, you don't think you have the ability to do that for people. But I pray for people a lot and they, their headaches go away right away. Like it's, it's miraculous. And the word and what has come out for you, Scorpio realization, this too shall pass in the card for healer. OK, so. So your eyes have opened to a new energy and the realization that your current life is not what you thought it was to set in, Scorpio. Number 15 and number 34. And <clears throat> number 29, look up these angel numbers. They could have a message for you. You find yourself in a troubled time in your life. Know that these are lessons to be learned from. Be open to personal growth and learn from your experiences. You have a soul of a healer. You're being called to release your inner healer and trust your gifts. I'm feeling for a lot of you right now, Scorpio, and I got I see the card um comes up here as the high priestess. I'm feeling for a lot of you. You know that you have a gift inside of you. There is this this essence, this presence within you. It seems like when people get around you, they feel like they're being healed. They almost feel like good afternoon. I, I want to quit so bad, you know, it's dead, but it's hard. Like, I'm, I'm wondering why I lit this cigarette right now. Whatever spirit guides are with me right now, they don't like that cigarette. They just, they just basically said, put that shit out. It's disgusting. So, anyway, um, we're up to Scorpio right now. And <clears throat> I tried the Jew pen. It doesn't work for me. I, I have to get the patches. The high priestess, um, Scorpio, comes up for you a lot. Okay, why? Because Scorpios are very intuitive. Okay, they have this innate ability to um, look into the past, present, and future in a sense where they're not looking at it to... Um, examine their life. They're more like seeing things happen. And I feel like a lot of you are having dreams that are telling you a lot about your life. So pay attention to these reoccurring dreams that you've been having. Um, so if you feel like you're carrying some burdens and some stress to the world, let that go and go deep within. If you can see here, I got the high priestess and the card of Taurus, Pisces, and Virgo comes up. But Scorpio, you're in a state of deep examination. You're looking at your life and you're wondering where it's going. You're trying to find this balance within you and there's a need for you to ground yourself, okay? Ground yourself as you are maybe in the occult, maybe in the spirit world, maybe doing all that. They want you to also ground yourself. So when you're doing these practices, these things, or or you're thinking, okay, Scorpio, because you're very highly intuitive people, okay? You seem to be carrying some 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 pain from something that you need to let go of and find find the, the strength to let go of something, okay? Let go of something because you have the soul of a healer. 
and this too shall pass. So if there is some pain, maybe you're dealing with health issues. Maybe someone around you is not feeling well. Maybe you need to take care of someone who's not feeling well. Maybe you're stuck in a situation where you feel like you cannot leave this situation. You feel like you have to be there to help this person. They're wanting you to gather the strength within you because you are the magician and you are able to make anything you want in life happen to you. All you have to do is move away to calmer waters. You have the need, the sense, the ability to work on your yourself and also i feel like you help a lot of other people and now it is time to cut out those things that do not serve you and know your power know your abilities take them and stop worrying get out of your head because you have the ability to make anything you want happen there's a need for you to begin new projects there's something that you've been wanting to do you've been waiting to do okay and whatever projects, whatever you've been deciding to do, whether this be work, love, career, finance, look at that. The wheel of fortune is spinning in your favor. I'm feeling for a lot of you that you're leaving a karmic cycle right now. And so just understand that when you leave this karmic cycle, you have now the ability to start a new life. This is going to be a tower moment. It's going to feel like everything's going to explode and break in front of you. And it's going to feel like, oh God. But you know what? That is going to transform you and you will be able to see things more clearly. Everything that you've been been unjustified everything in life that's been an injustice to you everything that's been done to you everything that's done for you not to you you need to realize they were just lessons this too shall pass there's a realization here okay there's this too shall pass there is healer vibes for you okay scorpio you just need to embrace what is coming to you and just move forward okay pisces pisces sun moon and rising and we're gonna get to aries leo and sad you guys I'm glad I spent time on everybody. You know, I did fuck around in between. Okay, where was it? Libra? Yeah, Libra. You had me all while. And... All right. Libra. You you was on that sex mode, so it was funny. All right. No, I have not done Leo yet. I'm going to do Pisces now. I'll do Aries, Leo, and then Sagittarius, okay? So let's get to it. And I'm also going to post this afterwards so you can look back at it. I will put the timestamps on the bottom. So that timestamps means it'll say Aries at this time. So you can fast forward into that time. Okay, Leo, that time you can fast forward into that time. Okay. Love and light to you guys all. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to book private readings, my um, website is available there. And I also do um, events, parties. If you want to set up a Zoom thing with your friends and you want to be like, oh, let's four of us get readings and I'll charge $40 a person. I do that. That's the cheapest I'll go on Zoom. Um, prior readings are there. I do in-person in readings also. Um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you guys want to book anything, you let me know. You can either email me or DM me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. All right, Pisces. What do we have for our Pisces, please? Are we going to speak or? All right, thank you. When my ears vibrate like that, it is a sign for me that spirit is in the room and they are giving me messages. So, Pisces, we're going to speak of a... I heard Leo. Leo came up in my head. Uh, so, let's see here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. That's funny. I'm doing Pisces. My mother, who's a Pisces, decides to walk up the stairs when I'm doing her sign. All right, so we're not getting these? Okay. So let's just head to the tarot. Yes, okay. Somebody could be dealing with the Leo. I kept hearing Leo inside of my head. Um, there's a, and look at that, Aries, Leo, or Sag pops up. There is, so my energy kind of went down a little bit. Not in a bad way. It's just, it's like a little bit down right now, Pisces. So we might feel like we had a commitment that went awry. There is definitely someone who walked away from a commitment here. This left you feeling very down. I feel almost sad right now, so I want to um, clear that, please. Let's clear that. Thank you. All right, so I feel a sadness, kind of an energy of like this. Um, <clears throat> I'm upset. I feel upset. This didn't work out. I feel like nothing, commitment when it comes to marriage and stuff, it feels like um, <clears throat> I can't seem to stay in it and I want to walk away from it. There was someone who left. They went far away, right? Um, like this could be energetically or whatever. But Pisces, you are your spirit guides are taking their time to speak to you right now because they're feeling like you're going through a stage in your life right now where you are trying to figure out romantically. Where am I romantically? Where will I be romantically? You have been single for a while for some of you, but they're asking you to be more social. And when it comes to career, 
it seems like um, you're working very hard towards a successful career right now. There's some of you that are just focused on that at the present moment. Wow, okay. Pisces. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and this exploded in your face, whatever this was, and you're feeling like you can't celebrate, they need you to be more social. They need you to have more fun. Pisces, I'm feeling like you've kind of been trapped in the house too long. I feel like I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck in my house. I need to get out. I need to be social. I need to stop thinking so much. I need to stop doing all that. It's too much, too much in my... <clears throat> no, you're, you don't have tetanitis. You have spirits around you and they're trying to connect with you and your vibe. When your ears vibrate, if they vibrate very high, that means that you're vibrating at a higher rate. If they start to like vibrate at all, it could be mean that spirit is there with you. Your spirit guides are trying to contact you or it's giving you the message of how high or how low you're vibrating today. So if you want to ask and you want to see, what's funny is when we start to feel happy and positive, it's kind of funny because if you sit there and you listen to your ears and you hear vibrations, that's telling you that you're vibrating at a high rate right now. Okay. Pisces. So somebody cut out here in Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It seems like a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn was trying to come close to you and offer you some kind of love. I do feel like your spirit guys right now are telling you to stop holding on to the past. You are financially going to get out of a rut that you were, if you're feeling like you were in a financial rut, this is going to clear up again. A Leo pops up again, feeling like someone here is dealing with a very stubborn, a very controlling person as well. There's a need for some of you to get rest here. There is a person who feels like their world got turned upside down. They, they feel like this person that they were with who cheated on them, who lied to them, who kept secrets from them. The secrets were spilled out. They were revealed. And you found out a lot of things about this person. And it really broke you. You thought this person was the love of your life. You thought they were the love of your life. You thought they were everything. And, you know, for some of you right now, you do have a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, or a Virgo that you might be dealing with. This person is running towards you wow you're gonna get somebody coming towards you and if you are with them right now they are your soulmate you need to have patience with this connection because in the end it will bring you happiness don't be defensive don't be so defensive against this leo aries or sag or aquarius libra gemini the truth will walk in and whatever justice you felt like wasn't done to you the ending is near the beginning is nearer it's time to start fresh some of you are feeling like you're manifesting life right now and you need to go deep within. You are very intuitive. You are very spiritual. Stop worrying and stop being in your head. All right, Pisces, there's a need. Look, I just, I just hit that and it flipped over by accident, okay? So there's a need for you to start fresh, okay? A need for you to start new projects. A need for you to stop focusing on the past, okay? I mean, a lot of us need to stop focusing on the past, okay? So we got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius left over. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get to the signs, okay? Let's get to these signs. I wanted to do every sign individually, and I probably will do that after this. I might do like five minutes each each sign, but it's just like it's better like this because I feel like the energies get picked up better. I just like it better. And when I'm by myself, I just uh, I want to feel the energy, so I feel it now. Aries. Sharath, I love you. Aries. Look at that. Somebody's carrying burdens with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Or that's you carrying a lot of burdens. Okay, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get to the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. All right, Aries. You got repeated themes and angelic healing. Okay, number 31, number six. The angels are stepping forward to help you heal your past. They have messages for you that will help you become more aware of your soul's purpose on earth. Be open to receiving information and healing. You have reoccurring lessons in your past. Examine these themes so that you can move forward and change the cycles. Okay, Aries, if you feel like things have not been going your way, if you feel like your emotions have been all over the place. You feel a sense of guardedness. Your walls are closed and you are not open right now. 
your emotions have been rather stifled. You feel a little bit lonely and lost right now. I see you. Hi, Portugal. Hi, um, Nails from Portugal. Your airy son is screaming right now. <laughs> um, if you feel like, listen, listen, I get it. I, I, I feel like I'm going to cry. This is weird. Um, Aries, there's a need for you to choose, choose carefully. A situation from the past has reappeared and created doubt within you. Difficult choices on the horizon, but once you decide, everything comes together with ease. Number 19, number 6, number 31. Now, you got the card of repeated themes and you got the card of choose carefully. So what is that telling me, Aries? This reason why you've been feeling like this and you go up and down and back and forth. <clears throat> well, I feel that right now, man. I was about to start crying. I feel <coughs> emotional. <coughs> I feel very emotional right now. And I'm sorry that you've been through what you've been through. I know it wasn't easy. I feel like this person comes in to communicate with you. They come back in and they cause you a lot of pain. When someone is not emotionally available to you and you're giving all of your emotions to someone <clears throat> who is not giving those emotions back to you. Like, you got to turn your back on this sometimes. Like, there is communication definitely coming in towards you. You see that? But you got to sometimes deny that communication, okay? You have to stop this pain yourself. I feel strongly, whoever this is, they're, first of all, they're liars, they're cheaters, they, they don't treat you right. They're just not truthful with you. You're waiting for them to come back, though. Somebody's waiting for someone to come back. You want to know, will they call me? Will they text me? Will they <clears throat> treat me right this time? So now you need to understand, no, baby girl, no, baby boy. You got to move forward. You see that? This person comes back and what do they cause for you? They cause a tower moment. So you can have everything in perfect alignment and then they come back and ruin it. Stop letting this happen. Stop, Aries, because if, if you're feeling the way I'm feeling, I'm only feeling a sensing your pain. You want somebody who's loyal. You want somebody who's truthful, somebody who's going to treat you like the queen that you are, but the burdens that you're carrying are only for one reason and one reason only because you're holding on. You're holding on to the past. You're holding on to that, okay? Look at you always, Aries. Why you got to take care of everybody else besides yourself? Why you want to be out and pay for things? Why you want to be out and be the one to be like, I got this? Or like, then you get drunk and like you forget about things for five minutes and then you go back to it. And I'm going to tell you right now, when this person comes back, stop answering their calls. Do a three-day detox. Put your phone away and don't respond to them. You need to move forward from this person. They are not for you. You know it. I don't have to tell you that they're not for you. You already knew that. You already knew that. And you can hear it a thousand times, but I want you to hear it from your spirit guides, your loved ones, your ancestors. They're telling you, baby, I have more planned for you. I'm listening to you. What do you want? Tell me. Tell me. Speak it. Scream it out. What do you want? I want this. I want that. The angels are calling. Hey, what do you need? I got you. You need to understand Okay, Dushi, I'm telling everyone, you need to understand that that is not for you. And you know it. It's like, I don't need to tell you this, but your spirit guides are telling you this. If you are listening to this and going, wow, she's talking about me? Is this, this so accurate? Why? What do you think? I'm telling you, your spirit guides are in here with me. And they are giving you the message I asked for them to give you the messages you need to hear most. Even if it hurts, I would rather have the band-aid ripped out of me. Tell me the truth so I don't waste my fucking time with this person. Why are we going to waste our energy and our time and our life with someone who does not deserve us? 
It's not because we're better than them. It's none of that. It's because they're just not for us. You cannot force a person to love you. And you also can't love a person so much that they finally learn to love you. That's not going to happen. How it happens is usually we give all of our love to someone and they can't give it back in return. And then you ignore someone and they're madly in love with you. Why is that? Because that's the laws of nature. That's the way life works. No, I love you too. That's not why. It's because, because at that moment, we have to realize that we are done with being with people who are going to love us less when we love them more. It's time for you to see your worth, your value. It's time for you to set up boundaries. This person comes back from the past. They try to text you again all of a sudden because they're horny. They're bored. It's, they got nothing to do. This The next bitch ain't sucking his dick right. So now you want to call you talking about I love you. It's got to go back to your bitch, motherfucker. I gave you the chance a hundred times. Each time you came back, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It hasn't changed. And it's not going to change. You know why? Because people don't change overnight. They come back to you talking about, I love you, baby. I'm sorry. I miss you. Blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, they get you back. And they forgot they fucked up in the first place. <laughs> Bro, we're not going to act like you didn't do nothing wrong here. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. You're not going to come back and you're going to act like you did nothing wrong. And I'm just supposed to sit here and be like, I love you too. I forgive you. Ah. I forgive you, motherfucker, but I'm not going to let you keep doing it to me. I don't want to have to keep forgiving you. Leave me alone, bruh. I got a big ass headache. And I'm going to tell you why. Somebody in here keeps allowing somebody to come back into their life and ruin it for them. Stop. Done. Motherfucker didn't love you the first time. They ain't gonna love you the second time. They ain't gonna love you the third time. They ain't gonna love you the fourth time. They didn't fuck you right the first 10 years. What makes you think the next 10 years he gonna fuck you right, bitch? Just go get some new dick. Stop playing yourself. Really, ladies, you too. Men, you too. Like, you too. Just stop trying to make it work with people that don't fucking have no respect for themselves, first of all. How are they gonna respect you when they don't even fucking respect themselves? Get the fuck out of here. They're corny. You corny, you corny, son. You corny. And that's that's the fuck why. If any one of my exes be trying to come back, I'll just be like, I hit him with the poem. Uh, I'm sorry right now. I'm in a process of healing and self-realization. I don't want anyone from my past coming in to ruin that for me. Please, you are affecting my energy. I need you to never, ever, ever, ever call me, text me, or anything. I don't care how you are in life. I don't care that your cat died. I really don't care that your grandma died either. I'm sorry, but when I was there, I was taking care of your grandma. I gave her a bath that one time. Remember? You're welcome. But now, you need to move on and leave me the fuck alone because a bitch is doing Doing good and you're not about to come back in and fuck that up for me, honey. No. Cause they do. They be trying it. They be trying it. They be trying it. Talking about I love you. <laughs> Bitch, please. Play it, please. I'm the macaroni with the cheese. And every time they come around me, I'm unhappy. So bye. Boy bye. Leo. Leo. Leo, 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 look at you coming right up into your reading. First card, Leo. Are you trying to stand into your power right now? Number 14, Leo, you're transitioning from the patterns of the past into a new spiritual pattern. Acknowledge that these old patterns serve the purpose for you before. Be grateful for them and allow yourself to transition into this new energy. Boy, bye. Facts, Ash. For real, you got to go. How many chances are you going to give somebody? Like, really? We got to stop doing that. That's like, as human beings, we tend to like apologize a lot and say sorry. And, you know, you wouldn't have to apologize and say sorry so much if you just did everything right the first time. What's so hard? It's like, just feed me, fuck me, and shut the fuck up. It's like three rules, bro. Follow them and shut up. God, you're annoying. Anyway, transition. Yeah, you can look back at these readings, guys. They're all going to be here, so... I'll post them up and I'll put the timestamps, which is like, you know, let's say Aries, one minute, 45 seconds, whatever. So you can look back at it. You don't have to go through all the readings. Okay, so we got...
for Leo's transition fire energy, okay? So we got, your soul has been filled with a new passion. Oh, the passion from another lifetime that is being reborn. Allow well, yourself to move forward with creativity and renewal. Like a phoenix, now it's time to rise out of the ashes, okay? Number 14, you're transitioning from old patterns of the past into a new spiritual pattern. Acknowledge that your old patterns served a purpose for you. Be grateful for them and allow yourself to transition into a new energy, okay? I love you too, queen. I love all you guys. All right. So, yeah, wow, Leo. Okay, so Leo, beautiful, beautiful. You have a very beautiful transformation happening here. You are so ending something and, and working towards something new right here. Somebody could, could, someone could be dealing with a Gemini or a Scorpio here. Um, some of you could be working on a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And then there's some of you that are in a relationship with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini that you're not able to see things clearly. I'm getting a very, very strong headache. Um, I don't know if somebody is dealing with headaches or feeling um, pressure in the shoulders or the head, but um, you need to clear that, clear that out because that's um, that's okay. You're going to be okay. Cause so, so Leo, some of you are slowly moving towards a... Some, some of you have a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn... That's moving towards you way too slowly. Like they're taking forever to tell you they love you forever to be with you. This person just takes their sweet time. But that doesn't mean give up on them. It just means that they are, they move slowly. You could be dealing with this type of energy. It doesn't have to be the signs. Or that. Just say what I see. Um, <clears throat> some of you are dealing with the energy that comes in and out of your life. In and out. And it makes you very indecisive. Like there's a lot of people going through this right now. Everybody's deciding what's for me, what's not for me. You could be dealing with something of a sense of nature where you wanted to know what you're going to do with your money, Leo. Because Leos are very about their money and like <clears throat> their career, their life. They worry about that. There's some of you that you are, you are in a relationship with someone and yeah, you feel like this person doesn't pay any attention to you. And then the other one feels like the other one complains too much. There is a need for passion here. Somebody is lacking passion. They're, you're lacking passion. You want the passion. And this person isn't giving it to you. And it's keeping you feeling very down and depressed. <clears throat> there is a Leo here that could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they seem to be very in and out of your life here. But... There's a lot of you that are that are done with this. Like, so I'm reading for two different energies here. We got a, somebody who's in transition and they're finding the fire within them. They want to be, they want to live with that fire and that passion inside of them. Okay. There is a need for you to begin. Start the start the life that you want. Stop, stop waiting. There's a need for you to take that passion, that that life, just do it, you know? And there's also a need for you to pay attention to your surroundings. There's some of you that may be being a little bit selfish right now but as a Leo. And, and I'm not saying this in the wrong way, but a lot of Leos, there's an Aquarius that comes up. Um, it feels like <clears throat> this person is pouring their emotions into the wrong place. And you seem to be just waiting for them to like... Hello, I'm over here. And they're just like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Naked, swimming. I don't care what you're doing. And they're not paying you the attention that you need. And you need that attention. And you know what? And if they're not giving you that attention, they're just leaving you feeling down in the dumps and hurt about this, okay? So you need to really just probably be single for a while for some of you. Or for some of you that are in a relationship, spark up the fire. Start the new relationship. Start the new, you know, the new beginning. All right, Sagittarius is next, okay? Sagittarius is the last one. And then I'm going to do the signs individually later. I'll do every sign individually and post those on my YouTube channel and possibly on Instagram as well. Um, okay, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Hello, Remedy. Do I think the signs apply for dogs too? Mm, I don't know. 
I'm just going to say, like, you know, I feel like we reincarnate as certain things in this life. I, I do believe that some of us reincarnate. Indians believe that people reincarnate into, into animals. But depending on the life you lived in the previous life, that, um, that will determine what kind of uh, life you have in this lifetime, right? So if you were, like, a really shitty person, you come back as, like, a roach and somebody steps on you right away. You have to keep doing that for a while. Like, there's lessons that we learn. So I don't know. So I feel like there's some dogs... There's animals. Listen, I feel like animals are like humans to me. When I look at them, I don't separate the two. They're all like a soul, a spirit, you know. Um, I feed the animals outside and then they come visit me in my dreams. So I know that there's something there because literally how am I going to feed a random ass cat outside all the time? Then I see him in my dream and in my dream he was speaking to me saying thank you. That's like really weird. And he's like a stray cat. So it's like really weird. So yes, I do believe that they have spirits and, and all that stuff and souls and... Muslims actually believe that animals outside carry a jinn spirit. So, like, that's, like, an evil spirit. But, like, if you feed them, that they will protect your home and stuff like that. So, when you feed a stray cat or something like that, it's like you're feeding a jinn, which is a... Which way, where they got the term genie in a bottle from? Because a jinn is actually Solomon. King Solomon controlled all of the jinns. And he was the only one that was able to magically make them do for him. Like, she, he had her go back and get the throne of um of a queen um of a queen and that jinn brought it through time and dimension so my point is that when you feed stray animals and stuff like that you don't know the spirit or the soul that's in that animal so you treating them with love and kindness might actually open their minds to say oh wow there is some kindness in the world so you don't know what kind of good you're doing for people which is why i always say never mistreat people or homeless people or drug addicts or or um somebody in the family who's an alcoholic or something because you don't know like what their karma is and you have to like realize it's not up to you to change them but you also can't judge them because you never know when a homeless person's asking you for a dollar you could be saying no to an angel like I'm just spitting facts here and this is why i always gave to homeless people whether they buy drugs whether or not that's their problem not mine i gave from my heart my intentions were to feed them and they did what they wanted with it okay sagittarius Sagittarius, there's a need for you to find this balance in your life right now. Look at that. Look what just flew out. You saw that, right? You saw that flew out. Look at that. You are feeling a little bit stubborn right now and unable to have patience. There's an Aries that pops up here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You have realized something in life that you don't like the way you're looking. Some of you have realized that you don't like the way things have been going. And I was going to say you don't like the way you're living. So there's something about you that you know that you need to change because it's hindering you. It's like affecting you and your progress. Whatever you want to happen for you, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, it's affecting you because you're allowing it to affect you. You need to have patience. There might be a legal matter, Libra, Aquarius also, that you might be dealing with, but there could be a legal matter that... um. You're, you're worried about, or this could just be anything that has to do with justice and seeking justice, seeking peace, seeking a renewal. If you are looking, let's see, um, clarify the justice card, please. Okay. Stand in your power. Not, don't worry. There's something here that you need to stand in your power about and not, not over... Examine it. There's a victory. Wow. Awesome. If you are dealing with anything legal, anybody in here right now, just know that it's going to work out fine. Just relax. Be patient. Because it's going to work out in your favor. There's a victory here. There's recognition. You're going to be recognized for something that you've done. Now, recognition could mean like people could go, wow, she did this, he did that. Or it could just be someone that you love that you want to finally recognize you for who, for who you are. Thank you, um, Resilience on Fire. I love you. Thank you, baby girl. You're the best. So, Sagittarius. And I'm going to post all these. I'm also going to do all the individual signs today after I, like, 
you know, go have some coffee, get my energy back. I'm going to sit outside and do each sign individually again. So, but you can watch this. These are extra messages I, I was putting. I'm going to put on, put out a lot of um, uh, content today, whatever I can. After this, I want to do like a short video about something. So uh, whatever I watch, whatever I do, I post it on YouTube all the time. I post it on my Instagram and Facebook because I know a lot of people that fuck with Instagram, that they don't fuck with Facebook. Facebook don't fuck with Instagram. YouTube don't fuck with the rest of them. So you got to post it on everything. So I just do it, you know. Okay. Sagittarius, thank you, Resilience. I love you, baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, that's really kind of you. Um, so like I said, Sagittarius, there's a need for you to wow, okay. Some of you have your 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 somebody has a twin flame soulmate coming their way, and you're worried about it, but you need to not worry about it because you're gonna be abundant, you're gonna be okay soon. Stop over examining things, stop overthinking. You know, it's going to be okay. And you're so defensive. Why are you so defensive? What's wrong with you? Who's bothering you that much that you have to be so guarded? You have to have your guard up like every five minutes of the day. Relax. Relax. You don't need to fight anymore. If you just admit your wrongs and say, I know I did this. I know I did that. There's communication coming in from someone. Someone is coming back to communicate. For sure. There's a need for you to tame your emotions. Celebrate. Start fresh. Brand new. Brand new beginnings. Look at that. Beautiful. Start fresh. Brand new beginnings. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. But you got to stop feeling so trapped, so stuck, and feeling like everything's against you. It's not, okay? It is not. You will be okay. You have a lot of ships coming in. If you're waiting for something to come in, Sagittarius, you are. they're coming. Whoa. Money, money, money. Is somebody waiting for money? Because it's coming. Wow. That's amazing. Stop being defensive, K Dushi. You got to stop being defensive. Listen, that's got to end today. You don't have to fight no more. Let it go. Breathe. Because I know I have I have a lot of Sagittarius in my chart, a lot of Gemini, a lot of Libra. Weird, right? Um, I think there's like three Sag placements, th two Gemini, two Libra. Manif you've been manifesting this money. And let me just show you. Look at this shit. Let me show you this. Look at this. If you've been manifesting money or a check or something to happen or or love or, or com bro, ships coming in, financial freedom, happiness. That's like everything. Love, family, money, everything. Oh, that was your last three cards, by the way, Saj. That was your last three cards. So like I said, anybody wants to book a prior reading, please go to my website, okay? Please go to my website. It's easier that way. Try not to DM me and stuff because I don't see them sometimes. So just the link is in my bio on Instagram. On YouTube, it's in the comment section below. Just click on it and go and you can find out everything. I do private readings. I do pre-recorded FaceTime, in-person, um, group events. If you have like a birthday party and it's like seven people, you let me know. We'll work out a price, you know. I do the Zoom meetings. If you have a couple of friends, let's say you have four or five, it has to be more than five, five friends. Um, I do the FaceTime Zoom reading so you could have like a night with your girls and be like, hey, you want to get a reading from Flo? It's only $40 each and that's very cheap because <laughs> ain't no money amounts in that. But anyway, okay. So I love you guys very, very much. I love you. I'm going to go now. I'm going to post all of these. I'm also going to post each individual sign today. Once I go recuperate my energy and do all this, I'm going to um, put it... Okay, baby girl. All right, Kay. Um, I'm going to uh, get my energy up and do all that stuff. So I'll put all, all the signs. So for those of you out there who can't afford to get a reading, I get it, man. I've been that. I've been there myself. That's why I post these readings, okay? It takes a lot of energy out of me to post these readings. And any other readings, the readers that do this with their soul and their spirit. But I do it for you because I love you and I want you to heal and move forward, okay? I don't do this for my own good, for the, for the clout. I don't give a fuck about clout. I could just... You know, make money on the side and give them that. I want you guys to heal. Use these messages to heal, okay? I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do me a favor and go subscribe to it. Because I have like, yeah, I'm just kidding. No, anyway, I love you guys. I love you all very much. I'll see you soon. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all your likes, share, subscribe, all the support that you give me emotionally, physically, mentally. Thank you so much. I love you guys all very, very much. Thank you so, so much. I love you. Love and light to every single one of you. Remember to keep your thoughts light and positive. Have some fun. Find the joy in life. Don't be so serious all the time. You know, take time for yourself. 
Keep yourself away from things that don't serve you. Love yourself first before you try to find another relationship. Please heal yourself before moving on to another relationship, okay? Love and light to you guys. I love you, Takia. I love you, babe. Thank you for always supporting me, Amanda. Thank you, BB, everybody. I love you. Bye, guys.